welcome back to my channel. If you're here, you're trying to figure out what is my niche and how do I properly articulate it and be able to share it with the world. And you're in luck because this is what I do. I've helped thousands of people really hone in on their unique genius and create these uncopyable niches so that they can turn them into highly scalable and transformational online course businesses. And this really is step one. And I've created this foolproof system that always works if you do the work properly. So I'm gonna guide you through the process today and I hope by the end of this that you're able to say, oh my gosh, how did I miss it? It was right in front of me the whole time and you get a lot of clarity around your niche. And if that is the case, I would love to know. My love language is comments. So please let me know in the comments what your takeaways were, what you learned and what you're excited about when it comes to your niche. So. If you're pumped for this, give this video a quick like. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every single week. And let's dig into it. So before we dig into the first step, I do wanna give some context because there's really an old way of niching and a new way of niching. The old way of niching is picking this big, broad, general category like beauty or sports or entertainment. That leads to getting lost in a sea of a bunch of people who are trying to do the same thing. Tell me if you can relate to that or if that really resonates with you. The new way of niching that I've identified with so much experience under my belt of doing this for so many years is that your niche has to be grounded and centered in you. So let's get into exactly how you do that. So the very first thing is that when you're creating any kind of coaching or course business, it's based around creating something that's transformational. So the obvious clue is that if you've been through a transformation for yourself, you've learned a skill set or mastered a skill set, that is oftentimes where your niche lies. So to really figure that out, you want to ask yourself a couple of very key questions. Number one, what is a problem you've solved for yourself? Number two, what's a hurdle you've overcome? And number three, what's a skill that you've mastered? Number four, what's the most painful thing that you've ever been through? There is so much power in pain. Next, what makes you different than anyone on the planet? And a big clue here is what do people most often ask you and only you for your advice on or for your help with? And that brings me to the next question, which is what is the most transformational business or life experience that you have and that you would love to share with other people? And finally, this is one of my favorites to really get to the root of it. If you are forced right now in this moment to go on stage and give a TED talk on any topic in the world, what would it be? No preparation, you just gotta get up there and start talking. There's gotta be something in there that you could just riff on. And that again is a huge clue. So I mentioned in last week's video, the way that we help our clients create incredible online courses is we really focus on a zero to hero journey because your clients come in when they're at their zero most frustrated most challenged place and it's often a mirror for where you were at that same place and you're taking them to their hero outcomes so the desired outcome that they dream of being able to achieve and everything in between the zero and the hero becomes the curriculum inside of your program to bridge that gap and to create that outcome so a fun little exercise to try for yourself is to actually write out your hero story and you want to use the answers that you had in the prior questions to fill in these blanks so you wanna write it out in this way. I was at my lowest, most frustrated, most challenged, most stuck point when I was blank. I was craving blank, blank, and blank. In order to achieve blank, I had to shift from blank to blank. And to learn more about this, I turned to books, resources, workshops, influencers, blank, blank, blank. And when I achieved or made it or shifted to this outcome, I felt blank, blank, and blank. I went from zero to hero so that I could blank. So what this does is it helps you really identify in your own experience and story, what was the zero state? and what that really looked like for you. What was the hero state? What were your core desired feelings in wanting to achieve that hero outcome? How would that feel for you? Why did you want it so bad? And also what was the tipping point on your journey to really make you go, I have to make a change, this is urgent, I gotta do something about this. Because that then in turn brings you to the next step of the process. So the next step of the process is as you kind of brain dump your own story, you really start to pick up on clues of 
what is your unique and uncopyable niche compared to anybody else in the world? Because it's not just about, oh, I teach fitness. It's very deeply rooted in what's the motivation behind your own fitness journey or your own baking journey or your own anxiety journey. Whatever it may be, these are all niches that we've actually worked with. Instead of going broad and just saying, oh, my niche is anxiety, it's figuring out the core root of it and specifically who you were at your zero state, what the tipping point was for you and what the outcome was that you were seeking. So that brings us to the three factors. The three factors are what we've identified as the most important part of being able to grow an online course business. So it's one specific ideal client at one specific place on their journey, but they're at a tipping point and they have to make a change seeking one specific transformation. And if you fill out that hero story properly, you're gonna be able to identify what those key factors were for you. And when you know those, you know exactly who you're trying to serve and who you wanna work with. So as a little example of this, I'll share one example from a wonderful human that we work with um, and that I've actually shared on this channel before. So one specific ideal client is a hobby baker uh, who bakes at home. The one specific place on their journey is they want to turn their hobby and they're sick of just doing it as a hobby and being in a career that they hate into an actual business. And the desired outcome is I'm going to take my passion for baking and turn it into an at-home bakery business. And this business has scaled to consistent $20,000 months. And there's actually a case study that you can check out in the description below of exactly how this process went for our client who was in this niche. But when you know those three factors, it then makes it very easy to figure out what kind of content to create, who you're marketing to, who you're speaking to, and exactly how to serve them at the highest level by creating a curriculum in your online course that really helps them achieve that zero to hero outcome. And the next step in the process is to start doing research. So when you know, those factors, when you know the story, when you know the impact that you wanna have and the outcome you're trying to create, it's your job to then go to sources like Amazon, Google, all social platforms, and find hubs, which are essentially places where your ideal client, who is really a mirror for you, is hanging out to identify, okay, what's the content that's getting a ton of engagement? What are the reviews looking like for books on this topic? What can I add in to the equation based on my own unique experience and skill set that isn't already on the market? And what is on the market that's already working that can really give a clue to me because success leaves clues as to what people are seeking to achieve this transformation. So doing that research and taking the time to go to places like what Amazon, Google, YouTube, to see what is currently out there and how your voice is unique from what's out there, it allows you to figure out how you fit into the marketplace and also how you stand out in the marketplace. And the final piece of really solidifying your niche and knowing that this is the direction to head in is to start finding humans that mirror your own experience. And by doing the research that I just talked about, you're gonna start to identify people who really match that for you. And it's as simple as providing value. Business and you know growing in terms of really being able to impact the right people, it has to start with creating value. So when you know what your ideal client is seeking, you create content around that and you find where they're hanging out online, as I just mentioned, in YouTube comments, in Instagram comments, in groups, et cetera, forums. And you start sharing your story. You start adding value through sharing tips and tricks and things that you've learned because it's like a magnet when you do that. I believe that generosity leads to abundance. So the more that you can share about your own experience and your own expertise, the more you're seen as an authority and the more that people want to work with you and want to engage with you because they're, you're delivering exactly what they're seeking and you know what they're seeking because you've done the work to really identify who you want to serve and how you want to show up instead of throwing the spaghetti at the wall and just guessing at how you can really make an impact. So it's not this crazy process, but this is foolproof. Like I said, I have tested this on thousands of people and it's not about going externally and starting externally and seeing what other people have been successful in and basing your niche off of that because you are you and they are them. So you have to figure out what do you bring to the table and what is your unique experience that you can then use to create an impact on other people. And it works every time. 
So if you want to dig deeper on this, I've actually created a free training. You can go to workwithsunny.com to dig into it and see real case studies of how people have used this to then create these highly transformational and scalable online course businesses using this methodology. And they're scaling all the way up to $300,000 a month without any ad spend at all. And just doing it organically by selling their online course consistently month over month. So if that's something you're interested in, like I said, workwithsunny.com, the link will be below in the description or just type it into your browser, all lowercase. If you want to really dig into how you can actually create a business plan around this. I created an entire video that goes super deep on every aspect you need to know along with my entire online course playlist. So I hope you do that next. Here's the secret sauce and it's not complicated. It seems so obvious that it can't be true, but like I said, I've tested this on so many people that the root of your success lies in your story. And as a former journalist, this is my background and this is how I've really helped people stand out and create themselves as the authority in the space that everybody wants to work with and as the go-to expert and attracting all of these incredible opportunities. Because when you are clear on who you are and how you want to show up, you become a magnet for the right people that you can truly impact. Are you with me? <laughs> so I recommend watching this over and over again if you need to and going through the process over and over again. And I hope it starts to make sense how we can actually tie this together and create it into a real business, okay? If you need further help on that, like I said, links in the description to check out my free training on exactly how we do that. Um, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button if this was helpful for you. Leave a comment with your takeaways because I love that. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.